Some of my friends and viewers are asking me for an update about my muscle lipo journey. You guys are planning to get procedures done at Glam and Fab. This is how it looks. No bruising so far. The pain, I mean the soreness is still tolerable. You should not be on your period. You should not be pregnant. It's showing you that the bruising was getting more obvious. Hey, it's me. What's up? It's Arancha and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am off to Glam and Fab again to have my second session for my meso lipo. And this is quite delayed already actually because today is a Saturday and my schedule for the second session was supposed to be last Wednesday. But unfortunately, I wasn't in Cebu yet. I think we were still on our way to Cebu then. That's why I didn't have it done last Wednesday. I booked an appointment for today at 10 a.m. It's already 9.30 and I still need to go to the ATM to get some cash, to withdraw some cash for my payment later at the clinic because as what I said in my previous video, I paid with my own money. This is not um, an X deal or a collaboration, so this is really an investment for myself. So let's go since I might run late and I booked, I booked a quite early appointment so let's go i just rode a bus going to the clinic since i'm already spending way too much for these procedures so might as well even just for a little bit on my transportation going there and then when i got to the clinic i was led into one of the treatment rooms where i was able to take my shirt off and got ready for the treatment some of my friends and viewers are asking me for an update about my muscle lipo journey if I do feel like my arms are a lot less fatter now but guys it's only been two sessions and I'm expected to see obvious results by third or on fourth session so we'll check it out next time on my third session since every two weeks I will be having these mesolipo injections. A little feedback on today's session so I felt so much pain right after my muscle lipo injections so much more painful compared to my first session but for my RF this time it was so much more tolerable it didn't feel as hot compared to my second session I did have a second session already but I just didn't do a full-length vlog about it since it was just a short and quick session I'm finally done with my Solito and RF. I'm going back home because it's hot and it's hot. And I'll update you guys later when I get home. If you guys are planning to get procedures done at Glam and Fab, they're located here at the second level of the Leolon Building along Jones Avenue. Ayar. Hey guys, I'm back home from my second Mesolipo session and my third RF on arms session. I was actually planning on getting an RF for my face earlier, but I noticed how busy the clinic was earlier, like maraming clients for today since it's a weekend. Totally understandable. I decided that I'll just do it some other time. Maybe for my fourth RF on arms session, I will include RF on my face maybe next week. But yeah, I feel very sore again on my arms, especially in this area where um, they injected the mesolipo injections. And this is how it looks. No bruising so far. The pain, I mean, the soreness is still tolerable. There's some bruising on this side. And here you can see the injection points right there. And so far, if you've noticed, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably notice that I have been posing a lot with like very short, not really very short sleeves, but um, short sleeve tops. And I noticed that my arms are a little bit smaller now, or maybe that's just me, but 
seeing my body every day, of course, I notice a lot of changes. I see the differences, but I can really see a difference. Even the texture of my arms felt a whole lot softer. Like it got jigglier when I had my first nasolipo session done. So that was like, that's what I thought that, oh, maybe it's taking effect already. But um, I was also told that the mesolipo results will be a bit more visible during like the third i on the third or on the fourth session depends on what your goal is but for me i am already fine with how my arms are progressively slimming down I also do my part in exercising although during my first session i wasn't able to do much since the soreness was a little bit lengthened at that time, I couldn't really tolerate the pain right after my first muscle lipo session. But right now, I fe I'm feeling a little bit more tolerant with the pain. Actually, right now, it doesn't feel that sore anymore. But earlier, right after it was injected on me, I could really feel the soreness. Like, 10 out of 10 level of pain, level of soreness. So um that was that but right now when i got home it's finally over even during the rf session right after the injection it wasn't so painful anymore compared to when i had my um second rf session i think that was like the most intense pain that i felt for an rf session on my arm so that was really crazy if you're planning to get slimming procedures in glam and fab they will tell you to, well, first of all, you should not be on your period, you should not be pregnant, you should not be a lactating mom, and um, you should not have consumed any meals two hours before your slimming procedure, and also you shouldn't eat yet or drink cold drinks four hours after your, your slimming procedure, so... I'm just sharing it with you in case you guys are planning to get your slimming procedures done to the same clinic that I had mine done. And again, the price per session for the muscle lipo is 2,499 and then for the RF, the price per session is at 349 pesos. This is the next day and I'm just showing you that the bruising was getting more obvious but trust me guys, it wasn't painful at all. And that's it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please don't forget to click the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and of course, follow me on my Instagram and Facebook. I'll see you guys next time.